Hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer. What is going on, entertainers? So today I'm coming to y'all with another video. We're talking Hollywood Hot Topics, okay? We're going to talk about some of the stuff that I did not talk about throughout the week. Uh, give my opinion on it, and then let me know what y'all think down below, okay? First, we want to start off with Tommy, okay? They say, Tommy, touch up on the bleach cream like the girl Tinka, okay? Here's the thing. When I see this, I gag because, Tommy, you are a little light bright now. Like, it also... Please, because this is a confessional look on that you're seeing on the screen of Tommy on Baddie's West. Baddie's West was like a little bit ago. Tommy's not no, she was first never no brown skin or dark skin girl. So let's start there. Okay. But these recent videos, she does appear a little light. And it's not even a light. The pigment seems gone from her skin. That's why people are criticizing her and saying that she using up on the cream, okay? She the same cream I Spice used, okay, for the um, for the promotional uh, album of Black Hypocrisy. Let me stop. <laughs> that was all a stunt, y'all. That was a stunt. It was all a lie, okay? It wasn't real, okay? It was just for promotional purposes that I Spice did that. She never bleached, okay? Now, the video... That surfacing where a lot of people are alleging that Tommy is, you you know, usually by the bleach cream, is this video where she's showing her getting full set of grills. So in this video, uh, it's like very, like a fish eye lens close view of her face. And as you see, it shows the grills, but then we also see, you know, close view of the skin i did think the same thing when i seen it i'm not gonna lie i did think the same thing because tommy hasn't been the lightest of light at all and i do know that certain people uh they do change when it comes to seasons and skin tone and when it comes to hair color it's certain girls when they you know wear certain hair wigs different hair colors it does change to where they might appear a little bit lighter than if they were a different color. So there's that. But from this video, it does look like it because of the reason of the pink. There's pink in the skin. So that is what kind of makes me side eye her. As you see right here, it's a lot of pink. She might have had a chemical peel. Okay. Who knows? Do I think it's the smartest to upload videos like this after chemical, chemical peel? Know how the internet is? Not really, because, of course, they're going to say, you know, bleach, 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 whole lot of bleach. Okay? Boobs, 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 whole lot of bleach. Okay? Bleach, 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 whole lot of bleach. All right? Tommy's not, to me, an insecure type of girl. So if she were doing it, I feel like she would admit it. She's not the type that kind of strays away from certain things. We've seen her talk about her alcohol issues, anger issues, et cetera. Like she's sort of put all her business out on front street. Even her child, when she came up in there in that school and beat her child down for acting up, okay? Which a lot of y'all criticized her for doing, even though I feel, you know, certain ways because it's like, come on now. <sighs> Anyways, but I just don't feel like if she were doing it, that she wouldn't say it. But I feel like, she probably did it and didn't think that we were going to pick up on it, okay? Because like I said, she hasn't been the brownest or dark-skinned of the girls to even begin with. But I do feel like off of this video, it gives a little bleach. It does. It really does. And Tommy, I feel like you're delaying your interest on the baddies. Like, what's up, sir? You got to drive over there. You got to fly over there, okay? Like, we're waiting on your arrival, right? I'm just saying, imagine if she was all over hip hop and this happened. This would have been a whole storyline. Spice would have got involved. It would have been a whole freaking spectacle um, had she been all over hip hop and her skin had gotten this light. Okay. Let me know down below if y'all think she has turned, you know, to the cream of it all and leave your comments down below. Now, 
Let's talk DDG. I'm very disappointed. I did see the announcement of them breaking up. Y'all know I was the one of the people that was championing him and Hallie. Ugh. <laughs> I hate when I get proven wrong. But I'm not shocked. I will say that. I'm not shocked at it. The, let me tell you why I'm not shocked. Y'all remember when the meme of the sun started to go viral? I feel like Hallie wasn't too keen on that. Now, DDG, on the other hand, would make it, you know, more of a lighter joke. He, you know, was kind of laughing about it or whatever because, you know, the son did become, you know, a meme with the face that he was making up in that little car train, that thing that they were in. But I feel like Hallie wasn't too big of a fan about it because some people were sort of making fun of it uh, versus just making jokes about it. So I feel like that difference in itself, that's when I was like, mm, I don't know about this, I don't know about this. Okay, so he did put a grand announcement about their breakup. First of all, I felt like that was unnecessary. You don't owe us an explanation. I hate when celebrities do certain stuff like that. First of all, y'all weren't married. So legally, you feel me? There's nothing to be released. <laughs> like, y'all were not married. Y'all have a child together, but that's it. That announcement to me was extremely unnecessary. And I feel like it was a little bit lame of DDG to post it. Whether or not pub publicists told you to do that, I would have fought against this and no. I don't deserve, I don't, the world doesn't deserve uh, an announcement that we've broken up. Because what, what are we going to do with that? All it's going to do is cause more drama, get people to talk about them breaking up versus just people speculating. Because had they not said it, people would have just speculated and just let people come to their own assumptions. So I don't think he should have made that post to even begin with. And for the announcement to be made on Instagram, so it just, it was, it gave like very much like, I don't give a crap. Like, why? So he put on Instagram, he said, Dear friends and supporters, after much reflection and heartfelt conversation, Hallie and I have decided to go our separate ways. This decision was not easy, but we believe it's the best path forward for the both of us. I cherish the time we spent together and the love we've shared. Despite the changes in our relationship, our love for each other remains deep and true. We're still best friends and adore each other. As we focus our, on our individual journeys and our roles as co-parents, we cherish the bonds we've built and the beautiful moments we've shared. As we navigate this transition, we ask for your understanding and support. Thank you for your love and encouragement, DDG. Okay? See, I got y'all wish for some of y'all that was begging for them to break up. You happy? Like, some of y'all pray down on some of these relationships. I'm like, Jesus. As if y'all try, y'all gonna be the ones to get with the man. Y'all still can't get with the man. Okay? Some of y'all praying on their damn downfall together. It's like ridiculous. Okay? Uh, now, Hallie did not address, uh, address it whatsoever. Now, all she did was quietly remove pictures of them together on her Instagram. Which, like I said, I don't feel like he should have posted this. You could at least do a press release. But to post an uh, Instagram about it, to me, was a little like, it was a little lame. That's just what I think, okay? So now a lot of people, of course, started to talk about their breakup, why they think they broke up. Uh, people felt like the timing that he did it was sort of suspicious because uh, of the day that he did it was uh, one of Halle, Mem Halle Bailey's uh, family members' like birthday, aka it's giving Krishan and damn Jaden. I'm like, y'all go, <laughs> it's the birthdays and stuff for me. Anyways, uh, some of the people that have some comments just to say about it is Chris. So Chris, you guys, uh, and DDG have a little bit of beef uh, because of some social media back, not back and forth, but some things that... Uh, Chris had said about DDG before DDG has said about Chris before. So he, to me, was a, found a little bit uh, joy into it, uh, their breakup. So they got sort of like some of you guys that are so happy that these niggas are not together no more. Bro, DDG and Holly just broke up on my show. Where was I at? I ain't never seen. Chris, you a South Central baddies talking about on my say. I'm sick of you niggas. Oh, you damn straight niggas is something else. Y'all will still lingo in certain things and run with it. I know 
on my soul was not created by Sasha Dramatic before some of y'all start acting stupid in the comments. You them had no relationship problems on social media. Y'all did a good job behind it. But hey, I'm not going to lie. You might as well should have just let Usher feed her that cherry. Fuck is you talking about if you was just going to break up with her or did she break up with you? I don't know. Don't really matter. But at the end of the day, why did y'all break up? I really want to know. I'm concerned because y'all looked cute. That's why I keep telling people looks are deceiving. You can't judge. Like, that's what I'll be trying to tell people. Talking about some they separating and focus on your careers. Bro, why does y'all just have a baby and then just, we love y'all together, bro. Like, we ship y'all together. Why would y'all break up right after y'all had a baby? Like, that don't make sense. I think you want to fall in the, I think you're trying to be like Dub and get a new girlfriend after he already had a kid. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay. We can, we, we can, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do right now. On my soul, bro, this is not okay. I'm tired of relationships. It's like, do why why even get in a relationship? Why? Why get in a relationship if y'all gonna break up? I don't know what to do right now. <laughs> Call me back. Chris sounds like a freaking somebody who's out of breath one. And he also sounds like he about to cry. <laughs> like, oh my God, just the way that he sounds. <laughs> Queen, how did you deal with it, bitch? Oh my God, Cree ran to the hills, All right? I just feel like people that are finding joy in them breaking up are kind of lame, to be honest, because it's like, what do you get out of them not being together? Like, that's going to make you get in a relationship. Like, I, I just don't get the people finding joy in this. I do get so many people that saying, told you so, because I remember when she was pregnant, I didn't think that it was the best thing that she did getting pregnant by the man before getting married to the man because of them being too high, you know, high level people, celebrity figures. So I just feel like he, she should have got to know him just a little bit more before popping out that baby. And then maybe she could have avoided uh, some of the embarrassment that she's getting now. But I just don't think Hallie cares like that or else she would have said something. The fact that she hasn't publicly stated anything about their breakup shows me that she could care less about her opinion, rightfully so. And Chloe probably is probably her biggest support, support system is probably talking a whole lot of shit about DDG also, okay? You know, Chloe's just like, so you, you mean to tell me he posted on Instagram? You mean on Instagram? <laughs> you know Chloe's reacted just like that on the phone. They probably had a two-hour conversation about how lame that post was. I mean, I don't know. I mean, um, he is friends with Blueface, so you know how that goes. Krishan and that old train, crazy. You know, <laughs> that's how I just picture the phone conversation. I will say, though, I do feel like it's going to head down a toxic path because as much as y'all be thinking that the, the Bailey sisters are like cute and fun seeing and cute seeing and, uh, uh, and, 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 you know, innocent. I feel like those Bailey sisters, if you F with them enough, they will snap, especially Hallie. I'm telling you, that little soft voice, I feel like. Once push will turn into big biggie type of aesthetic. Like I'm telling you, I just see it. Haven't I said a whole lot of things here that have come true? I'm telling you, I just see like if he were to get, let's say, in another relationship and like starts to bring the baby around, maybe for the other girl. I feel like she's not gonna take it too lightly. There's just I just don't see this heading down the right direction. I will say that them being together, I felt hope in it, but them not being together and being broken up and having a co-parent broken up, I don't see it heading down very a great path all right i do see people dropping videos of like a ruby rose uh sort of tie into the whole breakup i don't really believe that to be honest because if that were the case it would have happened a long time i will say though when hallie tests back into her bag of music okay the next uh project we're going to get is going to be fire okay angel to me is one of the best tracks she's ever released solo and i do feel like this is my opinion hallie solo is a lot better than chloe solo so i do think though that this will give her more inspiration to be able to help improve the next project that she puts out because she's really going to be popping her ish to be on it uh musically okay ddg will still do the same don't get me wrong but hallie to me musically i feel like I, i'm more i could really tap into the songs that she puts out okay DDG to me also is very underrated musically um, because I feel like a couple of the tracks that he's put out, had they given those same tracks to another person, it probably would have went platinum, uh, to be honest, because uh, musically I feel like he knows what the hell, hell he's doing, especially 
any track he does with Blueface. Okay. Let me know what y'all think about their breakup. Do you guys uh, believe that y'all saw this coming or not? Okay. Now it doesn't stop there. Joe Budden has some things to say. Pump, pump it up. He has some things to say about uh, their breakup, which made DDG tweet some not so nice things about him and his career. And he also kind of wished death upon him. <laughs> Sav ain't got nothing on you, nigga, okay? He said, your life will never prosper. You talking all this ish, okay? You will not prosper. Talk about my relationship, okay? My distinguished panel is a question I've been asking myself for quite some time. Who the f*** is DDG? <laughs> <laughs> and, and why am I supposed to care about his thoughts on anything? Oh, uh, he's a... Rapper? Yeah. I, I, I'm happy that they have broken up so I don't get to keep seeing this name attached to this girl's name when I don't know him for nothing as a standalone. And for me, it's important to know people based off their own name and merit and what they have done. I don't even mm -hmm. know enough about her. Like, I'm not her demo. Right. I'm not her demo either. But every time I see his name, it's attached to hers and it's typically in some type of clout chaser fashion. So that makes me look at him a different way, and hopefully, I get to look at him a lot less now that they've broken. Well, she's up. extremely high pro. She's high profile. So. To my distinguished panel. Here's the thing: I felt like this was very much hater energy. I don't care what nobody says. Like a lot, of, I feel like a lot of people around his age range have that same sort of thoughts about people that are in a DDG and Halley's age range because they don't feel the interest to get to know some of these newer artists. And it gives very much hater. Just because you don't know them don't mean other people don't know him. I knew a DDG before he got with Alley, okay? Because of Blueface, all right? That's how I kind of found out about DDG. A lot of people mostly know him, of course, through YouTube. But I found out about him through Blueface because of the Blue Girls Club. Songs that he started making featuring him. Moonwalk and Calabasas. Okay, me and DDG. Like, come on out. Like, that's one of my favorite tracks from him. So it's like, don't try to make it seem like nobody on this face of the earth knows about this man when they he has a following and to be honest the amount he was getting paid on youtube was a lot bigger than some of you motherfuckers uh rapping i'll tell you that much okay he literally said he made more money off of youtube than any album or musical stuff that he's put out which tells you a whole lot so him sort of hating off the bat like that that's just joe though because you know he's a bitter old man so DDG has some things to say about Joe and basically cursed upon his life. He said, I'll be tripping about the girl saying ish because I'm used to it. It's all love. But you niggas with platforms going to get a response for sure. Pump it up when go after 20 years, you old bitch. Joe, buddy, I'm on you. Bitch, I'm getting you. Okay. And then put the pump it up record that went go. Niggas got 30 years max of life left. And speaking on a relationship of people the same age as your son, you ain't taking care of. I hope you forget to take your magnesium pills today, you old bitch. At Joe Buddy. Okay? The grandmama the baby. <laughs> okay? I feel like this response is justified. Joe Budden to me was hated from the jump. And he just responded back to the hate with some facts. He has gold records before... Joe had that one pump the record. Like, come on now. Like, it, it is factual. It's not like he made it up. If you're going to read at least to my facts, distinguished, he read with facts. I don't see the issue in it. Like, the facts are facts. Look, we got three DDG going gold, one platinum, and then we got one from Mr. Joe. Like, it is what it is. Okay, some people still didn't know he made music, but let the record show you can't change things that are factual. I just feel like Joe's one of those people where like he tries to hate on the younger generation because he feels like they didn't have to work as hard as he did. But now you're literally tapping into some of the stuff that the younger generation is doing, which is podcasting. So shut up. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Like you are literally going into and doing certain things that the younger folk is doing with podcasting, streaming, etc. So it's like clearly you're inspired, okay? 
Let me know what y'all think down below about those two kind of going back and forth. And Hallie is still an angel. You're an angel. Ah. Okay, she's still an angel in my eyes. Okay, anyways, y'all. Mia, aka Jigsaw number two. A lot of y'all be saying that in the comments. Mia does look like Jigsaw, aka K. Okay, this is Jigsaw's sister, Mia Thornton. Mia in this new season of Potomac, which I will be covering, basically talked about how she and her dude that she's with now, Inc that they folded if this is a sneak peek of the new episode she folded g's uh, uh clothes underwears etc that were dirty after doing his laundry that both of them did it together and then delivered it to him my whole thing is with mia i feel like she gets a kick out of enjoying him he already has said and i'm talking about gordon gordon harry has said that he suffers with mental health issues bipolar etc why are you continuing to embarrass this man? It's kind of sick, to be honest. Like, you keep talking about him when we didn't ask. Nobody asked you to tell the story. But what the thing about Mia, she going to always try to get a clout moment. She going to always try to make, you know, anything she says trend and make it a biteable moment. And then she hits us with this, the confession, like, so like, yeah. You know, she does one of those. And it's like, it's, some of it's not necessary. It's kind of wrong, to be honest. Like, Mia to me is just strange. I'm sorry. Like, she's very strange to me. Oh, my God. And I'm not talking about the craters. Like, it's just, she's so strange to me with the things she says, does, and tries to do. For you to say that y'all had, like, a business relationship for 11 years is crazy. You had kids with the man. Yep the man you have threesomes with the man that's not business okay that's a whole lot of pleasure and probably mixed with some business i don't think though that they were in like a monogamous sort of relationship how they tried to put off to be when they came on into the show mia is a liar she has said this before like she makes up certain things so it doesn't surprise me also jacqueline in her relationship with her that to me is also weird too. This I was just out the whole time during watching that scene because I'm like, what the hell? Oh, like I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyways, y'all, it doesn't look like we're going to get a whole lot of details in the SCX trafficking lawsuit uh, from Diddy. Uh, apparently, the materials will not be posted online via uh, Megan Cuniff, which is very disappointing because, of course, a lot of us are very nosy and would love to see what is going what was going on behind the doors of this lawsuit. Prosecutors and lawyers for Sean Diddy Combs have agreed on a protective order regarding case discovery that specifies sealed materials will not be posted online, including any social media site such as Facebook or Twitter. Disclosure material should not be disclosed by the defendant or defense counsel, including any successor counsel the defense other than set forth herein and shall be used by the defense solely for purposes for defending against the charges in the above caption case, included but not limited to preparation for his trial and any sentencing appeal or collateral attack, which was commenced within a year of the exhaustion of the defendant's appellate rights involving the charges in the above caption case. The defense shall not post any disclosure material that is not publicly available on the docket in the above caption case or on any internet site or network site, including any social media sites such as Facebook, Twitter, to which persons other than the parties here to have access and shall not be disclosed any disclosure material to the media. Okay. Damn. Oh, <laughs> like I did. I did want to see certain things. I'm not going to lie. I did. The switch count. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like, can we slide on Twitch? That's not a social media platform. That's a streaming platform. Can you? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. Oh, it's just. Wendy, to me, is needed at this time. The fact we're not getting her opinion on any of this is really, really sad, uh, to be honest. But uh, I do feel like this is a huge, 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 huge win for Diddy. Because at this point, we're not going to see extreme details of certain things that are going to be said. Now, the trial in itself, of course, details will leak as to what is being alleged in there, besides what we already know. So that in itself is already bad enough but for us to have maybe have gotten to see images videos etc that would have been like the nail in the coffin 
All right, last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was this Lucas Coley guy. I feel so bad, you guys, because I did not have a clue of who this man was. I'm not going to lie to y'all. When I kept seeing it, people kept commenting on my page. I seen on other pages. I'm like, who is this man? At one point, I thought he was a part of mindless behavior. And I was like, he was not a part of mindless behavior because he don't look like none of the niggas from mindless behavior. But I was like, maybe, you know, now that they've grown up, they look a little different. I had no clue. I had to do my research on this man. I'm talking about, I don't know even know a song. God rest his soul, but I literally did not know who this man was at all. I sound like Joe Budden. So first, let's talk about who he is, right? So he apparently um, is known for blending like English and French in his music. He was really popular on Vine when Vine was still existing. Now it's deleted. And that was before he became like a serious musical artist. Okay, so... He grew like a fan base, I guess, just from mixing like the French and the music and stuff like that. So that's how he sort of got like his following, right? So uh, recently, y'all, he did end up unaliving himself. And his girlfriend at the time, Amber, apparently he was after her. So he was literally chasing her, literally about to unalive her and ended up unaliving himself before he got to her. So um, she went live and sort of got super emotional just because a lot of the, I guess his fans were sort of blaming her for his death, saying that she wasn't sad enough and that uh, she didn't look like she was affected by it enough, even though she claims that he was on the phone with her while um, he was doing the deed. First of all, his fan base should be ashamed of, his, of themselves for ever even attacking this girl, to be honest, because Let's say if what happened didn't happen, she probably wouldn't have been here too. So it would have been two people not on the face of the earth to even tell a story as to what went down between those two. Now, she was on TikTok. She talked a little bit about it. Everything. I did everything I could to keep him here. And I promise. But at some point, when a person is now... But and you know, they'll take the both of you. Baby, you gotta believe him to keep him here. Now, there's been numerous posts that I've seen of him basically posting on social media, talking about, oh, watch this, I'm on my way. Bitches think they got a leeway, I'm coming, etc. So it's like, how can she ever be at fault when she was just saving herself? Thank God she was smart enough to do what some women aren't strong enough to do, which is run for your damn life. So that way you could get away from monsters like this. God do, rest his soul. Don't get me wrong, but it's like, she did the right thing from, for getting away. So that way she could save her own life. I just don't get the backlash when it comes to his fans to her that she experienced. The whole situation is just sad in itself. I just don't know him enough to speak in depth about it because that's, I, I just don't know him, okay? A lot of people ended up knowing his music and everything like that. So he did have a huge amount of fan base that is very sad about his passing. To be honest, mental health is very, very real. That's why I'm a huge believer in therapy. Uh, I feel like a lot of people, especially as white people, don't think it's important, but it really is, to be honest, um, because you never know what people are going through, okay? Let me know what y'all think down below about uh, some of these topics. One last thing, Cardi. <sighs> I took that deep breath for a reason. I feel like celebrities need to have, we gonna, we gonna put it in a new position. It's gonna be called a social media handler, okay? Y'all know how they had the handler on Bobby I Love You Purr? They need to have a social media handler. And y'all probably thinking that's just a publicist. No, a social media handler it's even deeper, okay? We need to start putting a new position out for Hollywood to be hired for people that basically, before you post something, and I know publicists do this as well, but this will go a little deeper. Before you even post something on Instagram, you have to go through the, the social media handler. Before you even go live, you have to talk to the social media handler and say, what are you feeling? Why are you wanting to go live? What are you going to talk about during this live? What are you going to tell these people on this internet? 
Will you get triggered if somebody comments something about Offset? Will you get triggered if somebody comments something about Nicki Minaj? Because the recent video that Cardi posted of her body and an update of her body, to me, should have never been posted. Because anybody with a right mind told, would have told you this doesn't look the most appealing. Apparently, she had a whole lot of uh, trainers on, and that's why her stomach was on Snatch. And then her body, lower body, was given capital M. We're not playing. This is the problem. The problem right here is the face swelling. But this, <laughs> definitely not the body. Now I gotta get, I get, I gotta get my gains right here. We're not playing. We're not playing. When I told you we're not playing, we're not playing. This is the problem. The problem right here is. The face swelling, but this <laughs> definitely not the body. Now I gotta get, I get, I gotta get my gains right here. And of course, they're all backing it up because she's paying them. Like, she's like I'm sick of it. Okay, now I she did go back and retract this video and basically say the reason why she looked that way is because of um, the waist trainers that were on. And then she posted, "This is what her body actually looks like." As of now, uh, with everything done, she say, "I really need to relax. This is how my body really looks like. My body, my body looks exaggerated in the other video because I have five fajas on. I want y'all to think with y'all brain. Y'all was just praising my body a couple of days ago. Do y'all think I went and got surgery in two days? Okay, Shotty ripped me out the faja. Uh huh. Okay, I do feel like Cardi has a little bit of a body dysmorphia issue allegedly. That's just what I think. I don't think." Uh, she's happy. She'll ever be happy with the way that she looks. I feel like it's always going to be another surgery. It's always going to be another enhancement that needs to be done for her to be satisfied with how she's looking in the mirror. And I think it has a whole lot to do with the relationships and the relationship that she's been in for these past few years, because I feel like her offset cheating so many times with a couple of other women makes her try, makes her sort of question her beauty, which is kind of really, really sad. Okay. To me, it gives the Nakos Kavala effect, okay? Anybody that knows Nakos Kavala, come on, Bob. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? Plastic and fake. A little bit like that. I feel like she does have that little bit ingrained in her head. And it's something that she's going to have to work and get through because we've seen how Little Kim ended up looking. Now, Little Kim's situation to me is separate because there was abuse involved in that. So it wasn't that she was just getting all these surgeries just because she wanted to look this certain way. That had a little bit to do with it as well. Her situation to me is completely different because these enhancements to me aren't the most needed. Cardi to me has never been an ugly girl, even all of hip hop. I really thought she was pretty. She fixed the teeth and to me looked fine. So we'll just see if this ends up, you know, keep on going or she's going to take a pause. All right. Let me know what y'all think down below and we're all babies. Thing, no, personal thing.